Hey guys, Jack of Grider, PJ Mortgage, make a mortgage simple as simple as what? Make it a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, I'm here to talk to you about the do's and the don'ts of Reese Financing, specifically for right now. So we are in 2023, and what does that look like? So I get asked a lot, right? Because people actually have equity in their homes, right? That was a lot different than what happened in 08. We've got equity in our houses and people wanna be able to tap into that equity. So what does that look like? Should I refinance? And first of all, let's talk a little bit about what refinancing is. So there's a lot of different ways if you're not doing a purchase, right? Like if you're not buying a house and using a mortgage to buy a house. So outside of that process, there are several different ways that people use refinance, okay? Refinance technically is when you are taking the loan that you did after the purchase and you are redoing it, hence refinancing it, right? But refinance covers other things besides just that. Um, it can cover what's called cash out, meaning that you're redoing the loan and you are pulling out some cash, okay? It can cover um, that you maybe wanna roll in some debt. So you wanna redo the loan and then add some debt to it. There are several different ways or whatever. And then there's also gonna be something called a second mortgage, which is like a brand new secondary loan that you can pull out. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about these things and kind of navigating them. So first of all, I get asked a lot a question of like, hey, can I look to refinance and save money on my payment? So, that's a great question um, and it really is something that is important, but what you need to understand and what you need to know is that a lot of times if your interest rate is gonna go up a lot, um, you're not really going to save money even if you're stretching out on the amount of time that you're going to pay because of the di disparity in the interest rate itself. Now I'm talking about just the pure balance that you're sitting with right now, so however much you owe on your current mortgage, okay? now. There is some times when it does make sense to refinance and maybe roll some other money in. So you're saying to yourself, what do you mean roll some other money in? So for instance, maybe you have a bunch of high interest credit cards, okay? So a lot of people tell me, but Jacqueline, I have like a 3.25% on my first uh, rate uh, for, my, for my mortgage. Why in the world would I want to go up to into like the sixes or, or the low sevens? Like, that's crazy. Like, why would I want to do that? Well, you got to think about this depending on how much debt you've got and what percentage it's sitting at, sometimes, even if we put these two together, you still are going to be saving money for a couple of reasons. Number one, yes, you're raising this interest rate, but you're taking all these that are really high. Because remember, the Fed has raised that short-term interest rate, which affects credit cards, like two or three times in like the last six to nine months. So that's significant, right? So that's first thing. And then second thing is remind yourself that now you've taken this debt, which was probably not tax deductible. Again, I'm gonna specify that I'm not a tax professional, but you're rolling it into your mortgage, which as a general rule typically is tax deductible. And so now you've changed the way that that money is actually being affected. Because there's more than one way to look at this. Another potential choice would be is you could look to take out some cash to be able to uh, pay out debt and you could do maybe let's call like a second mortgage that would be like a home equity loan or line of credit. A home equity line of credit is what you refer to as a HELOC, H-E-L-O-C, HELOC, Home Equity Line of Credit. This acts like a very large secured credit card to your property. Not always the best choice if you are trying to do like a secondary mortgage. Sometimes a fixed one called a home equity loan is kind of a better choice. So just as a kind of an FYI on that front. But that can be a reason. You also can look to refinance because major you maybe you wanna do some major renovation on your home. So you wanna do major renovation on your home. And what are your choices here? Well, you can take the money out of your savings account or your 401ks or retirement accounts, stuff like that. Or you could look to do refinance your main loan, pull out that cash, and then do it that way. Again, now we are potentially looking to do a situation where we potentially take it and make it tax deductible, et cetera, and remind you you're actually going and improving that property and then going ahead and improving the actual value of that property as well. Right? So when you're navigating the refinance process, the do's and the don'ts are that. I will tell you, and I have this conversation a lot, I got people reach out to me and they're looking to save money. And when we have a conversation, if they don't really have a lot of debt 
and the only thing they've got is that mortgage and they're just trying to lower the monthly payment and they've got a pretty low interest rate, a lot of times I actually don't recommend them to touch it. So if you've got a great professional that you know and you trust, or you find a great professional that you know and you trust, they're actually gonna walk you through that. They're gonna take a look and they'll be real with you. I mean, I always tell people, I'm not trying to do a loan just to do a loan, just so we're clear. Like, I wanna make sure that I get to do all of the loans for you and I'm only gonna be able to do that if you actually trust what I'm saying and if you hear that what my team and my team's intent is is your best interest, right? Your best financial interest is at heart. So, when you're doing a refinance, what to consider? Number one, Let's consider the fact that you need to figure out exactly what you exist right now. Number two, what do you want to do with it? Do you just, is your only goal to lower the monthly payment just on your mortgage? And will that make sense for you? Number three, make sure that if you do have other things you want to include, you have an understanding of how much you're paying interest rate wise on that other debt, right? How much debt is there? Because again, sometimes if you're only rolling this much debt, into the mortgage, it may not necessarily make sense, but maybe you've got 30, 40, 50, 60 K worth of debt. It may make more sense. So all of these are going to be factors. Also your overall financial picture. I've had people where maybe it didn't necessarily make a hundred percent the most financial sense to go ahead and roll in some of those debts and stretch out the term and things like that. But they were in a situation where it was going to be that, or they were going to have to start drawing out of their retirement account, or it was going to be that, or they were potentially going to get into a situation where maybe they had to file bankruptcy. So what's going to be better in that particular case, right? So again, this is where it's really going to depend and you need to have that great professional who's going to advise you because we're going to tell you exactly how it is and what it looks like. Okay. So I hope that this has kind of been helpful, helping you understand kind of the do's and the don'ts. So I would say do talk to professional, do know your financial situation, don't refinance just to refinance, especially if it's only gonna save you a couple of bucks and cost you a bunch, right? So be well informed, know what you're doing, and pick that great professional. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And again, I will try to do another video that's more specific to home equity loans, lines of credit, and things like that, so they can kind of give you the differentiation between the two, but yes, hopefully this was helpful. Go ahead and like the video and comment about some other options other kind of questions that you may have that maybe I can answer in, in future videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day.